the art world can have a reputation of exclusivity. But Wanganui Sargent Gallery is doing it a bit differently. It's letting the public in on one of the most important jobs, curating exhibitions. It was just an, uh, a thing that came out of an idea I had about uh, two years ago to, to put in a, a series of uh, postings on Facebook about my favourite things in Wanganui. And then I, I boldly said, oh, you know, I could do yeah, my 50 favourite um, pieces of art at the Sargent. Exhibitions are usually curated by a professional, responsible for deciding where, when and how each piece in the gallery's huge permanent collection will be displayed. And you know, someone said, well, why don't we scale it down to 10, because <laughs> 50 is a hell of a lot. The My Choice exhibition series is um, a series of guests have been invited to select works using the Explore the Collection portal. And we've kicked off with the mayor, for obvious reasons, be rude not to. I don't think it's that far away that we'll be asking the public for their suggestions as well. The Explore the Collection portal is essentially an interface within the Sargent's website with a powerful search engine, allowing access to almost the entire collection. I think to house 8,300 works that are in the permanent collection, well let's see, the biggest one I believe is about 4 by 6 metres or something, and then they go down to something the size of a postage stamp. So radically different sizes and shapes. Um, let's call it um, six football fields. <laughs> One of the main responsibilities of a public gallery is to allow the public to have that access to the collection. Um, we're in a situation at the moment here at Sargent on the Quay where we simply just don't have a hell of a lot of space to allow people to see much of the collection. It being so big, almost all of it is in storage. But now almost all of it has been photographed and audited and is available online. It's a valuable resource, not only for art enthusiasts, but also schools and the general public. Explore the Collection is a result of something that was very unfortunate and that the old Sargent Gallery had to be closed, but the silver lining is it gave us a chance to decant and audit a massive collection and build a prize-winning digital portal. Decanting a very old collection like this is a really uh, rare thing that happens. You can imagine it's an Herculean task. It's absolutely massive. I think it took 21 months for the Sargent Gallery to complete the work uh, as it moved 8,300 works of art from one venue, probably half a kilometre to the next. With no dedicated technology staff and a very small budget, the project was brought to life through a collaboration with tech company Vernon Systems. It exchanged technology for digital content using data and images from the Sargent's collection to showcase what it can do. What was really important to me was to enable people who knew nothing about the collection to explore the collection, just give them access and ways in if they didn't know who we had in our collection or where to begin. So some of the ways in are exploring by colour, so you can search for all the blue works in the collection, or you can also search by keywords such as roses or flowers or trees or cats or, and find all the artworks in the collection that contain those things. So there's some really powerful search tools in there. There's plenty to browse from with the collection spanning four centuries. The Sargent Gallery has been collecting works by New Zealand artists, so it provides a survey of New Zealand art history. We believe we're the first gallery in New Zealand to seriously collect photography as an art form. And it is the largest collection of pictorialist photography that's um, in a public collection in New Zealand. Soon all of it will be under one roof, when the redevelopment of the original building is complete. Georgie Orman, Local Focus.